Plyometric jump training is a great way to improve the speed and power of your athletes. However, in order to ensure training is safe and effective, it is critical that the appropriate contact times are maintained to focus on the plyometric training zone. The research has shown us that there is an optimal range for ground contact times during plyometric jump training of between 80 and 250 milliseconds. For some exercises where power is the focus, you should be higher in this area at around 200 milliseconds. While for exercises focusing more purely on speed, you should be at the lower end of the curve around 80 to 120 milliseconds. One of the challenges with coaching plyometrics is ensuring athletes have the right contact time for the chosen drill. Take this example. In one of these clips, the athlete is making the appropriate contact times, and in the other, his contact times are too long. Can you tell which set is the correct one? The answer is that the second set was actually the correct one. In the first set, the contact times were too long for the goals of this exercise. By introducing objective measurements and real-time feedback, you can ensure your athletes are in the zone for all plyometric training and use this great training method with confidence and safety at all times of the year.